Steve Umranon Khorja to Fajr of Gudi on Tulloch a Gunte and Chloris Mishishana Gavin Agus uh Ta Sulikum Gul Gachtine Gulv uh Gumak will Gachtina Swalya it on a slancha Agus Gulchevik Sulgumor Lesh and Rang Sha Marskanoch uh on Ked Rods na on Fader Live on uh Ulm Shah Ach Lushdol so Sholigi Stak takes Kunishin a Khar and Uldum uh on Tavra Vega Fle Gunin Yo na Lev Hishkin Ti Rish Agus uh so Khaksha Rehmi Treed on Khesht or Gavis Kardiok from 2014 we're going to take a look at the question and we're going to uh have a look at the Frankry Samplacha uh at ha on Agus Khomale Khesh a Agus B will be doing question 6A and 6B and hopefully uh you know this will build on the lesson we did on the 2013 uh she uh August she be a, a, a lesson we did last week. Uh obviously um being a Hesha on a Yakar the Glor Lord Dalti, um being Kursi Ama Harvestrinta, very restricted in terms of time and what you've got, uh you know, the time you have to do it. It's it's absolutely crucial that you're working the whole way through this and that you get everything done. Um on a snucker on a snucker not Gersh Stock and Akeshna and other Fragri Vega Yenagut, uh Dunlitrix. You don't want to affect the rest of uh your questions and answers for the Litrich. Intil Gwilchibinon may a clushta. Great that you can hear me. Um er Madden. So uh Marlui Menye, uh Baymid Lantarag, Er uh Leshna Kyatana, Er Lesh Rangli Bio Gam Leshka, Er on Loon, Agus and Varcha Hugging Kama. Um so Bay Quicking dig dainter grain on chin. We'll have 15 live tutorials done, delivered to anyone who wanted to come in. And uh, that's obviously a huge amount of uh, tuition that has been provided. But we're going to continue. We'll be back. Ben Midrash around uh, Vihula. We'll be back in the 20th, uh, Dabron. And uh, we're going to keep cracking on here and making sure that you've got what you need um, insofar as is possible. Uh, between here and uh, Tucson School, uh, a Vegar Shul by hook or by crook, he says. Uh, we're gonna go with uh, what Tishuk Leo says. He says, by hook or by crook, the exams are going ahead, guys. So that's Shin Jash Gela. I think that's good news. I think at the end of the day, it's uh, the best thing if we run the exams. Um, so I reached uh, Dov Shud Nach Revelaher River or Enya Aveg Egfechant, uh, Er and Count Shod Nistene. Uh, anybody be looking at this later, anybody who's never been here before, just so you know, all of the information that you need uh, is available in terms of notes and whatnot uh, in the new Premium Arch Revision Course section. Uh, this would normally have been €150, Euros, but for this period of time, uh, that's been sl slashed to €50. Euros. You can get everything in there, not just what we do in the live classes, but also uh, much more, and particularly now as we move um into the final term, you'll see there's a, a substantial amount of new material in there uh, concerning essays and whatnot and all the different literature elements that we can cover here in the live classes. So each day you can go in and uh, you can just click on the lesson and you'll be able to download the PDF that is attached to that. So you just go into the lesson, you click on start, hit the PDF and away you go. All right. So that's available. If you click on the link underneath, guys, in the... Uh, description you just go click on the courses that uh, link in the description you'll be able to get access to those notes and that's particularly for those people who as I say hundreds of people come in and watch these videos afterwards uh, not in the live session and I'm getting a lot of emails saying how do I get notes where where do you access them etc so that's why I do it start tutorial it's at the bottom of the uh, sorry the top of the description of this particular live class okay so let's crack on on Rudd, a vague or yen of a green in your no Nelson Mandela Leoch er lore fallen hero. Um, shall live Hishkin Bonaha Aaron Scudu uh, er fop era do govius a card So, if you've already done this in class, that's fine, that's not a problem. Uh, no biggie burfu shin, but in your bet you differ, it's gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna go through the exact answers that you could have written. Um, when I do these, just so you know, I purposely avoid looking at the uh, actual um, 
marking schemes because I like to put the material together, you know, good no durha, naturally. What would have been my inclination if I were a student uh, to write the answers in? So I tend to avoid marking schemes until a later point uh, where it's necessary. If I'm working my own students, I would go through the marking scheme at some point. But generally, I like to just work through the answers naturally. All right. So in your, that's what we're going to do. We're not going to read through all the text, by the way, just in case anyone's afraid. We're going to go through all the the the, the Leif Hishkinti and the vocab and everything again as an exercise in my class. My normal students, I would do that. I would go through the vocab, pick out what's useful. But in your case, uh, we simply don't have time to do that in this hour. So what we're going to do is take a look at Nakeshni, Argus, um, Nafragri, Atah, Ulvalgum, Div. Right now. On Hedrod, on Bun Principle of Targaryen, basic principle we have, before you do anything, so then you need to rather be Ella, you have got to do the following. Take Dirch Oskel on paper, yeah, open the paper, and go straight to Leif Hishkin de Hain. Uh, Leg on Tedl, if you understand the title, great. If not, move on. Um, uh, Emmet, no, uh, you haven't missed anything. Um, what you can do, Emmet, is go back and look at all the live lessons. They're all there. I haven't taken down any lesson. They're all on our YouTube channel. And you can go in and uh, I strongly recommend, obviously, that you would go back, you know, purchase the revision course, get the notes, uh, go work through the material, and you will be able to catch up perfectly because, you know, there's going to be a little break around Easter time. Uh, so that's a great way to maybe look at doing a revision course for yourself. Um, and then when you come back with us on April 20th, you'll be, you'll be live again and you'll be bang on and you'll have all your notes and whatever. So uh, that's what I would recommend, Emmett, if that's okay, if that works for you. Um, the key thing here, guys, is she, uh, she B, right? 6A, 6B. We've got to focus on these before we do anything, particularly she B. So, on Kedroth, uh, I'm sure sampled than Vokani look in Alta Tree, I'll sample it in Vrier Sanam Shakat and Alta Car. Dead simple, straightforward. We'll look at that when we come to 6A. That's not an issue. But what is an issue is Bunaha Aaron Olus Sashluch to us based on an inform on the information in the passage above. Louis Gore. So highlight the really important bit. Louis Gore, two traits of Winlin Nelson Mandela Darlat associated with Nelson Mandela in your opinion. So the really important information that we're looking for as we read through all of this is two traits associated with Nelson Mandela. I'm uh, example one. Find one example of each of the two traits. Sashlucht. Beacon fragra dokel fein. The answers must be in your own words. It's lower shaska fuckle. Now, if you recall, one of the things I was suggesting to you all was that you would have a... A two different color highlighters so uh, a red highlighter and a yellow highlighter right in my case I'm making a balls of that Johnny go back again right so a red highlighter and a yellow highlighter a yellow highlighter for me is information that is real on the fragment essential for the actual answers red highlighter is essential for the go ray for the 6b question because you don't have time to read it, then reread it just for the purposes of 6b. All right, so let's get into the main uh, the main tasks themselves. So rather vega yenagwin, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at uh, what the questions mean and what the sample answers are for each of these for the 2014 uh, Lev Hishkin. So, the question now. Ken fa nar Why was there not any great cause of surprise? nor uh, boss Nelson Mandela and Norik, Nelson Mandela's death last year. So um, someone sent me a question the other day. Could you predict a topic for the reading comprehension that I could prepare on? Um, basically, anyone who died in the last 12 months, their potential topic, any major event or tragedy, that's a major topic. And there's always going to be what we call overtebi, which would be just abstract topics. So it's very hard to predict these topics. But let's say, for example, um, you know, a lot of famous people died in the past year, particularly people like Gay Byrne were the paper set before he died, uh, quite possibly, I would think. So, you know, uh, I, I think I mentioned in the previous ones, hard to predict what they're going to be. Anyway, came for Narvain Udomor Why was it no great surprise that he died last year? 
Connus a scarpic scale avosh. How was the news of his death? Connus a scarpue. So people may have struggled with this. Scarp is to spread. So how was the news of his death spread? Um, again, udor more untish. Might have cut a few people out. If you knew a tissue, Ginnick, you would have been grand. And the final one is Louis Schliawan Ertuga Molado. So one way in which uh, he was praised in Neil Avosh after his death. So there the three rod at all a tastal uin. So if we take a look then, uh, what I've done is look to highlight in the text for you, Nanahane uh, is Tavak D. Okay. So if you had highlighted the key phrase over more untish, uh, so or udur mor untish, you obviously want to try and find that key phrase in the text every time. That's the idea. So if I just read through it for you, near ain udur mor untish of us, his death was no great surprise. Marvi ish war again because he's a big age or he was a big age, big age. August v tep erachlange the Tamil of Lint the river shin. So I've gone with the that the both of those things really. I've said near ain udur mor untish. It was no great surprise, or no great wonder. Mar Bogwina on a shan of Yam because he was a very old person. August Nirev on Slon to Gumahaga and his health wasn't good. The Kupla Blina knew us. Now, yes, you can take the full text. I'm going to have the questions come in. Uh, uh, the, um, I'm, I'm not sure, Sheila, up to about what date. Oh, you mean in terms of how the papers are set? Uh, the, 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 the general thing is they're set sometime in November, December. Is my understanding so you know it's it's impossible to know it's impossible to know but that just gives you a guide you know for example coronavirus and, and coronavirus is not going to be on the Leif Hishkind is, is, is I suppose the point um, uh, so his health wasn't good you could have taken as I say you could have taken directly the text you know from here near vain with the moment of Osmar v each war get that would have been enough August V Tepper at launch of the Tamil Vint River Shin, that would have been an a, a essential as well, possibly. Um, so he was old and his health health was failing. In a year like this, you've got to be careful because they tend to be more severe on not having enough information as opposed to or sorry, not having the correct information than being more severe severe. Uh, well, let's say if you don't have enough information, very often you can lose points. They're less severe and having too much information, if that makes sense. So I, I just kind of be wary of what you're putting in and be very, very conscious of making sure you fully answered it. You know, two reasons that it wasn't a surprise. One, he was old, but also his health was failing. Uh, so they could kind of interpret it as, well, if you just said he was old, maybe in a year like this where there's going to be tighter marking schemes in the reading, you know, you should have said that his health was failing. And that was that was an important point. So it's 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 very hard to navigate this sometimes, but you just got to use your cop on, cop on and common sense. I think. All right. Connors a scapa scale of wash. How was the news of his death? Scapa scale of wash. You're looking for that key term. So scapa on scale. There's the the phrase in the text for you. How was it spread? It was spread very quickly. Uh, air on radio, as on telefish, or foot foot on down. And TV and radio all over the world, Mar, because British stock are not going off schedule because they broke into the normal schedules. Canuck the Vaj Ogre to announce the uh, his death. So that's how I would have written it. Um, you could have taken the direct text again. Scott and Schiel go topper and the man come and saw you. So that that's one point. If you just wrote that sentence in, you would get zero. Right, uh, British stock and the Kanoskel radio tell Fisher foot and down. That's how they did it. That's how they they broke the news. So the news was broken quickly because they broke into the ordinary or usual schedules TV, the normal TV TV schedules, should I say, to announce his death. So again, you can use the exact terminology in the text, but what you want to do is uh, just be careful sometimes that you're actually writing the correct information. So anyone who practices this notion of just highlighting something in the in the question and then finding that in the text and just putting in the sentence with that, you would have got zero if you just said, you would have got zero there. 
So if you were clueless, you got zero. So that tactic doesn't always work for people. Three uh, or Louis Schleewan or Tugan Muller or Nelson in Yigavosh. Um, mention one way in which he was praised after his death. Tugan Muller do in Yigavosh nor a falchug alt vastorta agus agaroka voltacha in nuot on vora. So, um, when an alt vastor an alt vastorta for someone's death is an obituary. So he was praised after his death when uh, obituaries were published. August Agar Uckel Voltaker are editorials, so flattering editorials uh, in major newspapers and obituaries were published. That's it. Now you could continue if you wanted here. Chumala Shin, Duruk Agus Skriv Galorodi Multikafui. A lot of things were uh, said and written about him. Uh, praiseworthy things were said and written about him uh, on the or sorry, praising things, flattering things were said about him, Erna Man Ho Shield on social media. So if you look down here, Falcha Al Vastorta as Agrochal Voltiga and Nuoch on Vor on down, that would have been Schlea Wan. Okay? Now I've written in the second bit just because it's not so much an exemplar, but this is a second piece of information you could have written. Uh, and I've written it in my own way. Right? Here it says, and of course people started praising him very strongly on social media. Alright? So there's, uh, you know, three exact answers as I would have written them. As I said, this bit down here, this last sentence wouldn't have been necessary. But, and particularly where it says Schlee one, you need to be careful with that. Where it says one way. Uh, I know people often ask the question, if I mention two ways, will they penalise me? It's up to them on the year, you know, depending how the marks are going, how easily people are getting marks. If they said one way and you gave three, well, that's clearly what we call umrkuk. Um, so that that's that's very very important. A uh, great question from Hannah. Any advice for revising during Easter? Um, I think what you need to do is cover a broad number of things during Easter, Hannah. I would be obviously focusing every day or second day on your vocabulary for your essays. Now that would be a big thing for me. I would try to do every day or second day. Then something that builds your general vocabulary, whether that's going on something like tourist.ie or doing a reading comprehension or uh, literally listening to the news and TG Cahar and, and trying to figure out some new vocab. Um, you could also make sure that you do every day or second day something to do with the literature. So again, key terminology to do with uh, your filioch, uh, with your prose, with on trail, if that's the one you're doing. Um, grammar up the grammar up lessons you can always be looking at them you can always be looking at your brethren um, but a lot of the flashcards I have guys in the in the premium course that's really the way to go it's giving you a huge amount of stuff that you can be flicking away through there or you're sitting on your phone you can actually be using your time productively and I'd strongly recommend that you do a lot of flashcard type work where you're quickly revising key terminology uh, and obviously practicing some exam paper uh, questions would be would be a, a positive thing but like i've tried to build a structured revision course for you here so that you can have something you can follow every day and if you just keep following what i'm doing every day by the time you come to the end of may you will have revised every single thing in the course um now you will if you want to cover every single topic for the essays you will have to go into the the premium revision course and you will have to cover some of the essays uh, what we call asynchronously so you'll be doing that on in your own time but it'll be the same quality of information it's just i won't be here live um sorry tara the website was tourish.ie that's the irish language newspaper um i'm uh, sorry uh sorry i should have put in the i think it's www.tuaiorisc.ie uh, that's the and i put it in wrong god Making a mess of this, guys. There we go, finally. Um, so I'd, I'd, I'd recommend um, that you do that. I think Sheila's saying the... Is it the flashcards are very good, Sheila? Hopefully that's what you're saying. Um, anyway, the main thing, guys, is to, to, to keep progressing each day onto something. Um, and for anyone who's coming into this uh, situation, coming in, looking at leavingstartirish.com, maybe in even a month's time or even six weeks' time, if you follow the, 
the daily schedule of what's done the live lessons for the moment that's that's good that will that will keep you on track um but you do need to have a plan to get through all the key topics revise everything i'm advising everybody not to leave out any prose or poetry i think that's crazy 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 idea because we're in the you know we're in a very mature exam situation here i.e all the questions barrett uh, and ganorod and shan the paul all the stories all the poetry has come up so they're free to repeat them you know one year after another if they want to do that uh, and and like that to me would be irrespective of what's going on currently that would be to me fair practice at this point because you know they can't just be kind of running through them in chronological order now as to the year they came up previously you know it is an exam at the end of the day so i would say very 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 much focus on the idea that you have to cover everything all right um okay so guys hopefully enough cash the hand we're happy enough with that um and we'll crack on now to cash the dough if we can and i'm gonna try and get through these as quickly as possible the aim here to be finished at Kahu Kunahain, if possible, four or five minutes as well. I like to try and keep it to if at all possible. It's not always possible, but we do our best. All right. Kane Fa Artoga and Tanum Nelson Air. Why was he now people don't often know this? Why was he given the name? So why was he named Nelson? Nurkoishar Scott. So why was he given that name? Why do you have that name? Kalarin and Mandela, Augusta Harris of Lean, Mean they get a crazy dough. Dead simple one here for an honor student. What did Nelson and his friends do and his friend do in 1952? It's Kane Cusk. Now, this would be very important. If you hadn't known what this meant, you really did need to try and figure it out. Kane Cusk v. Evine. Again, Fraser, some people might have found it a bit difficult. So what was the, the ban or what was uh, the ban in place uh, under the um, apartheid rules or laws? water there right so um togo and tanum nelson air so why was he given the name uh, the verb was slightly different in the text it was for she and tanum nelson so if you had the word on tanum nelson you would have found in the text so he got the name nelson uh, and again the, here's a classic one if you had written down something like uh uh rolahala and Tanum a hug and winter fainer as first and Tanum Nelson or Kuisher skull. If you just wrote down that because that was what was in the question, you would have got zero. The reason was you have mass a culture in Africa, African culture did not have respect in schools. Uh, or sorry, there was no respect for African culture in schools. I was marching big in the Gachtalta, Anum Britannach of Air, and every student had to have a British name. So there was no respect for it. And Tugan Tanum Nelser, Nurkushir Skarl, Mar, Begin the Gachdalta, Anum Britannach, a vet er. Every student had to have a British name, Marnir of Mass, or Hulter, and Hafka, Snuskunum, because there's no respect for African culture in the schools. Shin and Fa. Again, a classic trap here for people who just blindly look at the question, highlight the key information, highlight it in the text, and then write down that sentence. So you've got to be on a chormach. Very, very careful with that. Kadarid and Mandel, so Kara Savin, mean they get crazy dough. Very, very simple question. Savin, mean they get crazy dough. Vonig Shifin, as a Kara, himself and his friend Oliver Tambo, Vonig Shid, a Goluk to leave in their own legal firm. Dead simple. Wouldn't expect anyone here to have an issue with that. King Husky via Vine Fuzi in the apartheid. What ban was in place under the apartheid laws? Kurna Dlihe via Vine for apartheid cusk er in dinna so it was a ban on anyone knockrev cracking galler who didn't have white skin in other words there was a ban on anybody who wasn't white port aglaka ibolatil so to participate in politics no akamiot or economics no sale pueblit natira or the public life of the country so nobody could be in a position of power if they were not white skinned in other words if they weren't white okay um so i suppose some people would have gone with this down here it's liha um there were kind of totalitarian laws uh that gave legal basis to apartheid kina yild is apartheid as caught uh, here was the key information a car cusker in dinner and banned anybody knocker of kakin 
cracking gal air part at lock upon no knock me no sale put in a tear again the question is if you highlighted all of this and you wrote the whole thing down would you get the marks you would because you're allowed to take text uh, out you're allowed to take full text out for your your answers under the current marking scheme so assuming that's how it's going to continue you would have been able to take that entire line Kay Kudala, Kesh the Tree, came for our Bunyuk and African National Congress. So the key verb is uh, why, or, or Bunyuk, should I say, why was the ANC established? Luke Puinta Wan Olish mentioned one point of information about Fui Slad Sharfil. Now you may not have known what, known what Slad was, okay? But you clearly could find that information. All you needed to do was look for 1960. Uh, so look at this, right? You have Sharfil, Milanaga, Shaska here. Okay, and you've slid there. So you may have been able to figure it out yourself, uh, but it does mean, mention one point of information about the Sharpville slaughter in 1960. And last bit, Louis Puinta won Olish, uh, mention one point of information about um, uh, Nelson Mandela's uh, prison seal, which is life imprisonment. So life imprisonment, back to front, Tisha Ginrock. Uh, so in the fragry on Shin, why was the ANC established, right? On fog or bunyal on ANC, no grev dina out, there were people there, such as Nelson, a viagiri trid or son carta dena on hinagurm. So there were people there who were trying to fight for human rights uh, for black people or fight on behalf of the human rights or the rights of black people in South Africa. And if you just go into the text here, there's a key term. Now, what do people do? Uh, I suppose all this Omicuk to me is uh, Nelson Mandela registered as a member of the ANC and a, an organisation established in 1912 to fight on behalf of uh, the rights of black people in South Africa. To me, it's excessive information about, you know, the ANC being established in 1912, etc. And that's why I say use your cop on, use your common sense, answer the question. And for why was it established? Use what I call Kratluk Nikeshta. Okay? So Kratluk Nikeshta to me means the spine of the question. So answer the actual question. It's to me it's a safer way of dealing with what's in front of you. Very often people are just looking to find the keywords in the question and the keywords in the passage, highlight them and just kind of puke it out, just write it down anyway at all. Be very, very careful about that. Why was it established? The reason why it was established was. So if you take Kratluk Nikeshta and very often use the term no, no effectively is like is. It, 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 it kind of binds together the question and the answer. So Ken Fogger Bunyuk and ANC and Fogger Bunyuk and ANC no Gravdina, there was people there like Nelson who were uh, willing to fight for the uh, human rights of black people in, in South Africa. Second one, uh, one simple point about the uh, Slad de Sharfil. Mario ne nina ishaska se Slad. So this is very simple. They're very often a, a question that is dead easy, right? So Mario ne nina ishaska se Slad. Agus Ahriu, Dark and Nelson Mandel, and ANC Gohumlan. Now, you wouldn't have had to write down all of that. One point was that Nain in Ashaska, so uh, 69 people were killed in the slaughter at the Sharfil protest or demonstration in the year 1960. So that's just one point. That's all you needed. You could say, Are you dark and Nelson Mandel's and ANC go home Um Maybe that wasn't something directly related to Sharfil, as in, you know, it wasn't something that happened at Sharfil. So that could be interpreted in a, a, a marking scheme. A given year has not been the right answer, that second bit. So be careful with that. As I said, this is the one you would go instinctively, I think. One point of information about his uh, life imprisonment. Nurigara Prizunuk Seal Er. So when he was given or handed down a life sentence, Prizunuk Seal, Kuniuk Ingeven A. Robin Island. So he was kept in captivity on Robin Island. So Robin Island was the famous jail where he stayed. I don't know if you've ever seen any of the pictures of it, but it's it probably. One of the most remarkable, if not the most remarkable human story that you will you will ever hear. Um, the way somebody like Nelson, who was in prison for so many years, 
stayed in just a, a terribly small, incredibly um, isolated prison cell and was able to keep his mind active, was able to keep his ideas and ideals real. It was just an amazing, amazing, amazing human being. Um, okay, so there's Kesh the Tree done for you, Kesh the Cahar. Um Yeah, so Kevin's question is good on you. If they say give two points info, do you give them one and then the other one or what? I think, Kevin, I always go with what it says in the question. If it says give two points of info, give you you always give two. Now, you're going to see this with question four in a second directly and the way that I like students to do it because it makes life easier for the examiner. Anything that makes life easier for the examiner is important. So you're going to see directly now in a second uh, what your uh, a response to your question, what an example of your, uh, sorry, all gobbledygook. Start again, Johnny. You're going to see in the next question how you would respond where you're asked to give two points of information. Um, the critical thing is where you're asked for two points of information, you must give two. If you only give one, you get half the marks. So, uh, why um, came for a Kosul Golana course in apartheid Good County Wad? Why did it seem like the apartheid system would continue Good County Wad for some time? Louis Goff went to Olish. So any time that comes up, it's absolutely crucial that you mention two points of information. Um, Katarina Wright, Ibra Hoga, the quid done stores in the What did a number of work young workers uh, in done stores in the 80s do? If you remember, we were doing an essay talking about a government um, inequality. And uh, we mentioned this in the essay, so we had a little chat about that actually. Uh, August Katarina F.W. the clerk, no Rina Utrande. Um, uh, what did F.W. the clerk do um, when he became no Rina Utrande, when he became president? So no Rina Utrande, again, you need to know those three verbs for the questions just so you fully understand them. Kevin's question, do I think, uh, or Al should I say, do you think the under circumstances will go easier on us with the points? I think what will happen is you'll just be marked according to standard practices and they'll see where the curve is pointing at some at some level. Uh, that's that's what I would imagine. Um, I don't think you need to worry about it being harder necessarily. I think they'll just go with it and they'll apply the system as they normally do. That That's my instinct, uh, Al Air. Okay, next one. Uh, so why did they? Why did it seem like they would continue with the apartheid system for some time? Um, again, if you highlight the phrase here, right, it's all there for you. Why did it seem like they were going to continue with the system for some time? Bahasul, and this is answering que Kevin's question now directly. Bahasul Golanik Shereig Mar, right? So where the question was came for Erhasul, why did it look like? We're saying Bahasul. It looked like Golanik Shereig that it would continue Mar because A. Use the simple signposting that you can for the examiner because it makes it easier for them and anything that makes it easier for them uh, is going to, uh, as we say, curry favour. It's, it's obviously going to make life a bit easier. Um, that they're, they're on your side when when you're doing things that make life easier for them. So, but Hosul Golanik Shereig, it seemed like it would continue because we uncooked August and Severus Galer again Guinea Gal because the white people had the cooked had the power and all of the wealth. So Egan Guinea Gal v uncooked as and Severus Galer. That's one point. So I've just written that out in a slightly different way. And the second thing was. He asked Politori de Nashun de la Rieltas in Africa has. International politicians stood with uh, the Rieltas in Africa has, which is the South African government. And here it says, He asked Politori de la Nashun de Savrata in Stardenda, Marhampla in Britain and US, for example. He asked you the Rieltas in Africa has. So it's a very easy one to get. But the crucial thing is you were asked for two points and we marked them out as A and B. So hopefully, Kevin, does that answer your question? I hope that's a very clear example, an explicit example of how you should try and approach this. All right. Uh, Kay Quidella. Katarina Ryan to Ibra Oga to quit done stores in Hukdodi. Dead simple this. What did some workers do? Snahukdodi in the 80s. So uh, in the 80s, 
Snow hook dodi, you see it here. Right, rin a rind ira oga the quid done stores baukat or harhi an Africas. So like this was dead easy. You take it straight out. Okay, nobody would have had any issue. I think, uh, doing this. So uh, tafat rot a chivi. Um, so rin a rind ira oga the quid done stores baukat or harhi an Africas. Dead simple. Anyone could get that. There's nearly always. This is a good thing about the Leif Hishkin guys. There's nearly always in one of the questions, nearly always at least one that's a you know, a bit of a gimme, is what I would call it. So you can kind of go in there always pretty much sure that you're going to get at least two marks out of the seven because there's going to be one question that's quite easy. Um, and then the last one, what did F W de Klerk do when he was uh, made president? No, Rinna Uchtran de, so when he was made president, so the million eight doctor Sani. I'm just changing around this last line a little bit. Kuikse mun kainte lohruk. He went into talks immediately. Kuikse mun kainte lohruk. Le Mandela agus kanu in ANC. So dead simple, easy one to find out. You could just go with Kuikse mun kainte lohruk. Le Mandela agus kanu in ANC. So as you can see, a reasonable reading comprehension to work through. Kesh the kuik then, uh, very quickly. A kata horla er on shock the law. Is fit that brown me naked no cigars. What happened in twenty seventh April nineteen ninety four? Easy one to find. Can Sprook occur in Nelson Mandela River? So what target did um, Nelson Mandela always put before him? August Luig I'm a one at all in Mandela Day. Mention one name of uh, Mandela Day or an Octula Day the view on the eighteenth of July. So Gahansh Guppy or Fad very very. Um, uh, easy one to go with here, I think, across the board to catch the Kuig. Um, so, what happened? So, 27th of April 1984, easy, find the text. The answer was all after this. Rockdala, Ol Tau Khan, Ser Dan, Dain La Hux, and Africas, right? Then Kedor Reeve. So, that was the answer, very simply. Um, take it exactly as it was from the text on 27th of April 1995. Uh, sorry, should we 1994? My God, I brought in the wrong year there, guys. It's a very simple button, a typo. That should be 1994. Rachtalok, The key phrase here is Ultauchon, Ser, Dain Lahok. Okay. And if you go backwards, again, syntax, Asquega, Democratic Free Election, General Election. Okay. So, 27th of April 1994, uh, Democratic free election or free democratic elections, whichever you want to say it, were uh, arranged or organized in Africa, in South Africa, then Hedo Reeve for the first time ever. Okay. Ken Sprokel Kershe River, what was his target? He knocked Rod the Rin and Nelson Mandela and everything that he did, but a ta winter snow shunta. And everything he did, it was uh, national reconciliation was the target he had. Ahead of him, and if you go and look at it in the text, but a on top winter is not shown on Spurk a Korshe River in Nakrod Russia. So, like, dead simple, take it directly from the text. I've slightly changed it, that's all okay. Slight changes and mention one aim associated with Mandela Day. I'm a one at all of Mandela Day or not to law or not to law take the rule. No, and again, I've taken Kratlik Nikeshta, the spinal question, and I'm marrying it to the information. So one aim that you could go with is no is gunyena gachten a rudderle er lashing kun a tiochan a kirkun keen sedan, so that everyone would do something on that day to promote um, uh, f uh, peace in the world. And now another option because it said rudder one and back to Kevin's question I'm a one right so a one was what they wanted they didn't look for two, so I'd always go with what they say give them one. But just as another point, because it was in the text, I thought it was useful. August Iruk Mandela Kelur. One thing that people they want people to do is Iruk Mandela a Kelur, and that means to celebrate Mandela's heritage. Iruk, often phrased that you see in these kinds of reading comprehensions. Okay, so Shin Kesh the Is everyone happy with that so far? Um, hopefully, um, hopefully you can see what I'm trying to do here. It's just give you ideas. As to how I would go about answering these questions, um, obviously, I'm in a different kind of fluency bracket to all of you guys, um, but at the same time, it's important that you understand that if you just kind of keep it natural, it's to me it's better. It's better for you, 
uh, to actually just go about this trying to find the right answer and and answer it nicely not just kind of blurt out whatever is in the text i know the temptation is there to do that uh, but i think you de-stress yourself a little bit if you say yeah i'm going to go about this my way um, it is easy just to copy what's in the question you know highlight what's in the question and go look for that and just throw it down but i'm telling you you're going to leave marks behind you if you just do that approach it's not it's not the way I would recommend that you do it. Okay, so, Keshe A. So, uh, an example of the Mole Kneeluk. Now, can I show you right now what most people would have gone with? And by the way, this is wrong. So, everything I highlight here is wrong. So, watch what people um, uh, do. Good question there, Alair. Can you answer one word depending on the questions? Never answer one word. Never, never, never. Always give some kind of complete answer. Uh, like, uh, like for example, if let's say the, the answer was um, take something really, really simple from this text now, right? A winterous, right? Reconciliation. If the question was something like Cain Sprock a V Egmandela, right? And you just, so what was his target? And you just said, a winteris. Technically, that's right. I'd always write down, on Sprocka V Mandela, no, a winteris. Write down a nice answer. But they're never going to ask you a question, read that requires just one answer. All right? So I'm going to show you here, guys. Here are the kind of things that people would have written down for the mo. Can you look? Boniuk, guaranteed to be one. Okay? Um, Mariuk. Okay? Or Mariu. Rishok, Gyarok, Quiniok, definitely people were writing that one down. If you didn't know the Mo Kiniluk, there was at least five traps there for you. But the actual answer was Nach Nibroch. So if you don't know your Mo Kiniluk, uh, you probably were in a bit of bother here. And that's the truth of the matter because there was a whole heap of traps in this text, in my opinion, uh, to... Uh, catch you out and I'm sure a few of you may have uh, got caught out with doing that there was another couple like there was Gawach right so you just really would have been in a lot of bother know your Mo Kiniluk. Uh it's so important to have that information going into these uh, Keshe uh. and then very simply uh, having had all these free verbs right to look at Okay, every one of these are Breher Sayer. Then you had to find one in Alta Kahar, which there was only one, if my memory serves me right, I think there was only one in Alta Kahar. And um, if anyone remembers, I gave you a little trick the last day to try and remember these. I put them up here. I used to, I used to refer to it, I still refer to it as Ug Tar Far Fi. Now the very first one, doesn't exist ug doesn't exist but it's that eok e a d h a d h sound uh that's that's what you want to do um how much in the lave hishkin great question louise very simple you have 45 minutes in total it splits into the following you need to get your five questions done in an absolute maximum absolute maximum of 30 minutes you need to get your she a question done in three minutes. And you need to get your she b question done in 12 minutes, which normally breaks down into kind of giving it six minutes for the first bit and six minutes for the second. OK, because normally two parts to it. So that's what you need to do. You could, if you really, really, really needed it, uh, find five minutes somewhere else if you're able to get all your poetry and prose done for example in 25 minutes and 25 minutes each but i'd be very strongly recommending that you have 45 minutes and you don't go a second above those 45 minutes if you can at all so hopefully that helps you um uh, louise a little so the breher sayer was squealuk and not broke there were your two shea uh, questions as i say you can see there was landmines all over the place in shea uh, particularly in the first one. And the way this is marked, by the way, your first right answer, whether it's in, in the, the first part or the second part, you get two marks for 
for that and you get one mark for that or two and one depending which way you write it down uh, there's three marks available to each of them all right and by the way that three minutes uh, corresponds to three marks and that 12 minutes corresponds to 12 marks i like to think of um paw period though as mark a minute stuff guys for me that's that's the way i i tend to say to people um you know mark a minute that's how you should approach it uh insofar as it's humanly possible which technically would mean you give the lave hishkin 50 but you don't quite have the 50 minutes all right um next bit then shabby so bonaher nolis to schluck to us um Based on information, the passage above, Louis Gawre mentioned two traits, or write down two traits associated with Mandela Darlat, in your opinion. I'm sure example one, the Gach Count and Dawre is the Schluck. So you have to find an example of each trait in the passage. But the crucial thing is here, you've got to write down two traits. Okay? So I'm going to go straight into it here. Now, as I said, you should have been going through with a red highlighter when you were reading for trying to find the answers for each of those you should have been using a red highlighter in each passage now i didn't do it here i showed you how to do it in the previous uh, lesson uh, but i'm assuming you've highlighted text that will help you find some of his traits so what am i going with the first trait i'm going with is that he is kroger kroger is brave the second trait i'm going with is that he is klishta clever another word for klishta that you could use is like intelligent, okay, air mule. Now you can be intelligent but not clever, guys, as you probably have found out. Uh, yes, Kate Rinnock would be another breeder, sir. I'm Shikacha. Yeah. Um. So the next one. Kroga and Klishta. Um, so let me just tell you what I've written in here and why. So K Count, Massim, I think Gurdina Harva Kroga Avion. I think he was an extremely brave person. Mar, and this is the key bit, you have to find a reason. Because Hyashe in Idliha on apartheid. Now the word Dliha is in the text. And apartheid is in the text. And it's okay to use this because there's no other word uh, for apartheid. Now, you could use kinayalt. It's in it as well. There is no other word that you can replace it with. So this, I'm trying to give an example of where you could use a word, but it's sequences of words, a combination of words, or an entire sentence that you cannot use at all. So I think he's an extremely brave person. Marhyashe, Hridshe, he fought in Idliha on apartheid against the apartheid laws, a V Evaim San Africas that were in effect in South Africa in the 60s. So there are terms like Africas, Shaskidi. Um, you, you, you can use these terms. Um, another way of saying it though is Nirifatis are bit er uh, sorry, Nirifatis are bit er Rivna Hudrosh. He wasn't one bit afraid of the authorities. August Glockshe Leshon Will and he took on the danger of we a Bwintla roll and Achtasora. Now this would really be top end H1 uh, response. That gets that second line is the one that for me would guarantee you the 12 marks. Okay, if so you'd have six and six, uh, sorry, five and five and two at the end for a great guess. So you guarantee to get 12 marks if that's the standard that you want to be hitting. Or you could be hitting to guarantee you the marks if you write your two reasons in this way. Uh, I think he was a clever person. Right? So, or in Gina Gad, sorry, that should be Gina Gad. I don't know how I wrote down Bond there. Uh, Gina Gad. Uh, so, he didn't uh, take his revenge out. Or in Gina Gal. I'll just write it in there, it should be Gal. Uh, when he was elected as pre president so he didn't um, take his or exact his revenge on people when he became president I think that's very important um, another way of saying that is he now if you had known the phrase you could have used it a statesman 
you could have just gone with Hukdran as well. Othrode Gervi on Tihon of Eoig, as he wanted Shihon on Tihon, feminine phrase, as he wanted uh, uh, peace, Hare Niela above anything else, Rinishe Yehil come winter in Atira at He did his best to to join, no, eat a hort the to bring them back together or something like that. So in both instances, you're trying to avoid using uh, any of the terminology from the text, except where it can't be avoided, right? Where there's a brand name, a country name, a place name, it can't be avoided. Uh, and Eigen and Gwina are basically the same thing, uh, Lily. It's just you know preference, which one you want to go uh, with. Um, okay, so Shin and Keshebi, uh, hopefully you can see now, having gone through Shebi from 2013 and now here again, one of the ones in 2014. It, it's very possible to do this, but you just got to take a slightly alternative look at things. Um, I didn't have time in this lesson today to go through all of the different pieces of the text and go through it with highlights of what you could use. But in further lessons, I will do that again, just to make sure you know how to do it. Okay. So, will in question on show us a chat at our grin and the echim in would Ella Nua at our own. Moral will is fatal in Gull August our loan and our the Dolcon loan here August Sosbioga Hogal and you, Tasulgum Gull, Kursi Stadir, Eglant Raig, Marskanak. Hopefully, things are. Moving on for you in terms of study, you're getting a bit more motivated again. Hopefully, you have seen what the teacher has said, as I said earlier on, and uh, you know should get some motivation from that. That the most senior people in the country are telling you uh, this thing is happening. So I think, I think that's reinforcing. I think it's positive. It keeps you, um, it keeps you really focused. Great question from uh, Avid there. Is it hard, um, to uh, get full marks and question sec Shea B. It is difficult to get the full marks if you're just approaching it like you're going to rewrite what's there already, Ava. If you're just looking at it as, oh, I'm just going to kind of slightly change it a little bit, what they're looking for is tishkit, understanding. And if you can get that, if you can, you know, tishkit a charanul, turum a charanul, to portray or to uh, write down an opinion that clearly demonstrates understanding you're guaranteed to get the 12 marks that's how you approach it if you're just kind of reworking the sentences and not really you know just tinkering with the sentences and looking to replace one word with another word you're not going to get many marks in shabby i can tell you right now you'll be doing well to get any marks in shabby if you take that approach uh, so i'd say absolutely don't go down that road you know, try and follow what I'm saying here. Like particularly that example I gave looking at this first part of Shea B, the Kroger. You know, looking to use an entirely different term. That's not even there. So like if you follow any of the grammar stuff I've been doing, fact a sore, right? Like Muntor, Fermior, right? Is a campaigner. A factus is a campaign. Yeah, a fact a sore is a campaigner. You're really, you know, rolling off the sore, you're really showing off language. But also understanding that you understood that what Mandela was really doing was uh, he was campaigning. He was trying to run a campaign. He was in the role of a campaigner. Totally new phrase that you've created or brought to the table. Uh, that's what I'd be looking to do. Always try and include something that's a little bit different. And it's your opinion. Don't forget. It's not like I go back to the, the, the text based on the information in the text. What are the two traits in your opinion, right? In your view, in your estimation. So you can actually say at some level, there's no right or wrong answer to Shea B, but there is a right and wrong way to go about it. And, and the way I'm saying you go about it is clean slate, find information in the text that supports what you want to write in Shea B, but don't use that information insofar as is humanly possible. Brand names, place names, dates, times, all that can be recycled, no problem. Uh, if there is absolutely no way around it. So, for example, Kinney Yild, there isn't really a way around that. That's apartheid. Uh, you could write that down in another way, such as, you know, Dliha Enaig Kinney Orha, right? So, or Dliha Enaig on Hine Gurum. 
it would be another way to write that. So you could do that. You, you know, that, that, that kind of thing is possible. All right. Hopefully I'm answering your questions there good enough. Hopefully you're happy uh, with what we've done today. Uh, we'll end with Ella on Aaron Chattanish. Uh, 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 Emmett's question is would you be able to catch it by watching one video a day over Easter yeah you would absolutely Emmett start now and you'll be right up on top of where we were or where we are by the time we return on April 20th we we are just in case anyone thinks we're not we are here live again next Monday and Tuesday um, uh, so yeah you, you are able to catch up perfect excellent tough fault to roll David you're happy with that um Marwil in Kesht Ellen. This is any of your questions, guys. Uh, I'm going to uh finish today. Don't forget you can um catch up, you can get the all the notes and all the different bits and pieces in uh courses.limsardash.com. Um that's where uh you can you can help us out and support us um in trying to keep this thing going. And uh, if you haven't purchased them, I strongly recommend that you, you get on top of it now. Uh, don't put it on the long finger because you're just going to have too much work to do. I'll be adding work all the time, adding new material all the time. So uh, get cracking now would be my advice. Uh, as I said, we'll be taking a little bit of break. Give you people like Emmett who want to catch up. It'll give you a little bit of a chance. Uh, but really, you do need to start staying on top of this now. And I think um, once you, you know, the, the, the last two or three weeks have been crazy. They really have been crazy for everyone. Um, I think people will begin to settle back into work properly now. Uh, so use the opportunity of the next week in a bit to catch up and, and uh, anything I can do to help, I will do. Uh, I'm not a translation service, so please don't send me, uh, even people who are in the premium course, I've said this, all right, don't, don't send me S's to translate or, you know, could you tell me how to write this paragraph? That's not part of the deal here. That that would be a, a, a more private thing. But what I am doing is if there are comments put in the subscriber course, I'm responding to those comments with suggestions of how things could be answered or maybe uh, given guidance where, where required. Um, so, you know, it's it's a great opportunity for you all to get on top of things right now. And uh, I'm here to support you as best I can. And the live class is a great place to come because I, I'll deal with questions as they come up in the live class every time, as you can see. So, uh, All right, Shane, guys. Toshenam, imachta egen buinte shot. Time to go. August vekemishiv eren luan biach der shacht and then skogiv kermagiv galer. August turara. Take care. Ni nalova, guys. Shane and Rodas tov di Shane mer darter. Ni gi nalova August fanegi slantu August turara. Buniki tanavas and der shacht suladi by naimshukamachmar. All right, slantu guiv. Grandma Griff, Sloan Tomlin.